Hey, what's up? This is Brian Worth, and recently I spoke for the Human Rights Watch group uh, to about maybe 40 uh, former prisoners who uh, had been sentenced to life without the possibility of parole. And due to recent changes in the law, uh, they all received a second chance uh, in life. And they asked me to speak to them, to encourage them on the steps that I took when I was released from prison uh, toward a success. So I thought I would recap uh, some of those steps uh, for you in this video. Maybe you just got out of prison. Maybe you just got out of a men's home, a women's home, or a drug rehab. Or maybe you're in a place right now where you say, you know what, I have to change. I have to do something different. And I want to succeed. I want to do something with my life. Maybe that's you. I hope uh, what I'm about to say will encourage you to take the necessary steps forward. I was arrested at the age of 16, uh, regretfully for a gang-related murder. I was tried as, an, tried as an adult and in the Compton, California uh, courthouse, sentenced to life uh, in prison. I know how it feels to be a teenager crushed uh, by hopelessness and despair. Uh, by the grace of God, uh, after 16 years in prison, uh, in 2008, I was miraculously re re released uh, when God touched the heart of then Governor Arnold Schwarzenegger. I've been out of prison now for 13 years, and by God's grace, I've experienced uh, some levels of success uh, in life. I just celebrated my 23 year wedding uh, anniversary. I'm the father of three beautiful uh, children. I'm an author, radio host, and I'm the founder and lead pastor of what some would call one of the fastest growing churches in the United States. And so when I first got out of prison, there were certain initial steps toward success uh, that I took. Uh, one of them was to uh, stay in a positive environment, made sure that I didn't go back to a negative environment, that I stayed in a positive environment because environment is powerful, atmosphere is powerful. In fact, I didn't go back to my old neighborhood and greet uh, my old friends until about 10 years after my release. I was serious about the environment uh, that I was going to live in uh, post-incarceration. Secondly, I got a job and I worked basically a normal job. And that was crucial in my development because I needed to show that I could be faithful. I needed to show that I could be productive. I never worked a full-time job before. So I needed to demonstrate that I can get up every morning, that I can drive all the way to my work, sometimes 30, sometimes an hour, depending upon traffic, that I can drive all the way back and be home, go home and do that day in and day out. That was a, a development phase for me, developing my character and developing uh, who I was. So uh, I remember my mentor telling me, Brian, you're going to get anxious working your job, but stay faithful to your place because from your faithfulness to your place, other opportunities will arise. And that's exactly uh, what happened. Thirdly, uh, I began to volunteer uh, in the area that I wanted to be successful in. So I had a desire to start a church. I had a desire to be a pastor. So I began to volunteer I volunteered as an associate uh, pastor in a church uh, in the city of Whittier. Shout out to Scattering Seeds. Much love uh, to Pastor David and Renee. And I was living at that time in Paramount, North Long Beach. I was working in LAX. So several times a week, I would go work all the way in LAX. I'll drive all the way back. Sometimes it would take about an hour depending upon traffic. And then I'll drive all the way to Whittier, which can take another 30 to 40 minutes depending upon traffic. And I would volunteer. I would give of my time, my talent, my treasure. And I would just give of myself of the, of in the arena that I wanted to be successful in. Volunteer, volunteer. And then also, 
I found people that were successful in the area that I wanted to be successful in. And I followed them around and I learned from them and I hung out with them. Uh, I remember finding uh, Pastor Dr. Larry Wackemeyer, who leads Light and Life Christian Fellowship of North Long Beach, a large multi-ethnic church, very fruitful, dynamic church. And I began to hang around with him. I began to go where he was teaching at. I remember one time I brought my six-month-old son in a car seat. I was the only guy there with a six-month-old son in the gathering because I was hungry uh, to learn from people that were successful in the area that I wanted to be su uh, successful in. And I learned a long time ago that the people you hang around with will determine the opportunities you get in life. And as a result of that connection, it opened up many doors for me. So I want to encourage you. You're at a time in your life where you got to make some hard decisions and you got to take some steps forward. The steps I took, you can take too. And by the grace of God, by the grace of God, your life can be restored. I'm cheering for you. I'm encouraging you from a distance, praying for you. Uh, may uh, the blessing of the Lord be upon you. God bless you.